Welcome to a free Microsoft Excel training video brought to you by ExcelLearningZone.com. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to extend conditional formatting in Microsoft Excel 2003 and earlier using some VBA code. In one of my previous tips and tricks videos, I showed you how to use conditional formatting in Excel to change the colors of different cells based on the data in those cells. For example, here you can see with some conditional formatting, I've changed the color of the number of days late based on how late that particular invoice was. Now if you're using Excel 2007, the new conditional formatting option gives you up to 64 different rules that you can use to change colors and formats and things of that nature. And that's a topic for a different lesson. However, if you're still using Excel 2003 or earlier, and I know a lot of you are, the conditional formatting option under Format only allows you to have up to three different values that you can set conditional formatting on. Now I get asked all the time by Excel 2003 users, how can I extend that to four, five, six, or more different options? So in this lesson, I'm going to show you with a little VBA code how you can extend this from three to pretty much as many options as you want. So let's begin with a real simple spreadsheet in Excel. Now I am using Excel 2007, but this will work exactly the same in Excel 2003. I just happen to have 2007 on this machine. So type in this spreadsheet. I've got employee and sales, very simple. Now come down to the sheet tab, right click on it, and select view code. The menu looks a little different in 2003, but you should find the view code option. This will open up the Excel VBA editor. You may or may not see option explicit on top of this. If you do, just delete it. We don't need that for now. And again, I'm not going to explain every little thing about the VBA code in this lesson. You don't have to understand what all this stuff is to be able to use it. Of course, I fully explain all of this stuff in my Excel classes, but for today, we're just interested in making this work. I'm not going to explain exactly how everything works because I only have 10 minutes. Now I need to access the code that is going to run whenever my worksheet is changed. So I'm going to drop this box down and pick worksheet, but I don't want worksheet selection change. I want worksheet change whenever the entire worksheet is changed. So I'm going to change this box to change. Notice now I have two different subs down here that Excel has created. I'm going to get rid of selection change. I'm going to press enter a couple of times to give me some room in here and then tab in for my first line of code. Here's my first line of code. Set I equals the intersect of the target comma range B2 to B8. This basically says is the cell that was changed inside the range I care about, B2 to B8. The next line of code, if not I, is nothing, then, in other words, if that cell falls inside the range, then do some stuff. What is that stuff? Well, I'm going to create a basic select case statement that is going to change the value based on whatever the value in the cell is. For example, if B3 is changed, which is inside my range, and the value is 96, it'll fall right in here, case 0 to 100. I'm going to set a variable called new color equals 37, which is light blue. Here are some other cases. And again, I cover select case statements in my other VBA classes. And here are some other color codes, orange, dark yellow, green, red, and so on. Now that I've got that new color variable set, I'm going to set the target.interior.color index equal to whatever that number is. Remember, target is whatever cell was changed, right? Target.interior.color index equals the new color. So for example, if target is changed to 500, new color is 3, that cell should turn red. All right, end my if, and I should be good to go. I'll switch back over to Excel and make some changes. All right, let's change this to 102, enter. Notice the color change. 
right? You're going to have to go down and change these cells to notice the changes take effect. 225, 366, 453, and so on. And there we go. Notice how I can have pretty much as many cases as I want, so I can set as many colors as I want in my VBA code. If you want to add another case in here, just highlight it, copy, and paste, and you can make a change. Let's say this one's only going to be 400 to 600, and this one's going to be 601, this should be, and this should be 401 to 1000, right? Make the change here um, 20, which is a light blue. That's actually a lighter blue. Okay? And there's the new value. Now, where did this number come from, you might ask? Well, I just happen to know a bunch of them. But you can easily see what the number is for any color with a little bit of VB code. Just pick a cell, any cell, let's say F1 here. I'll put a couple X's in it. And what I want to do is format this guy. And when I format it, when I change it, I want to see whatever color the background here is show up in that cell. How do we do that? We'll go back to your code window. And let's again go back to Worksheet. And this time, let's go back to that selection change that I had earlier. Remember, I didn't want it before, but I want it now to see what the colors are. right? I'm going to say in here, range F1, F1, or basically cell F1, equals whatever that cell's interior dot color index is. So when the selection changes, I want to put in F1 whatever color the background color is, the number for that color. Now when I flip back to Excel, you're going to see a minus 4142 in there. That's OK. That's just because that cell doesn't have a color right now. But let's change the color, the background color, and then change the selection so the event fires. And there you can see a 24 was put in there. That's the color for that lightest blue. right? Change it again. Let's drop it down and pick like yellow. Click off it so the event runs. And there you can see a 6. So that's where I get that number from. It's simply a number representing a color in Excel. So there you go. There's all the code you need to figure out what the colors are and so that you can extend the conditional formatting in Excel 2003 for as many colors as you want. Now, if you don't want to type all this code in, you can go to my website. I have all the code up there in the tips and tricks section for you so you don't have to retype it. But I do recommend you go ahead and type it in because you will get a little bit more understanding out of it if you type it all in yourself. But there's everything you need to know to extend conditional formatting. If you enjoyed this free Microsoft Excel tip, there are lots more on my website at ExcelLearningZone.com and just click on the Tips and Tricks section. YouTube viewers, if you go to ExcelLearningZone.com slash YouTube, you can watch my full hour-long Excel 101 course right there on the website absolutely free of charge. Again, that's ExcelLearningZone.com slash YouTube.